The last type of visual display we want to look at is an ogive. So you'll notice that instead of the midpoint, we're looking at the upper class limit. And we're looking at what we call cumulative frequency and cumulative relative frequency. So an ogive is constructed with upper class limits and either the cumulative frequency or the cumulative relative frequency. So what's cumulative frequency? So cumulative frequency, you're going to take the frequency of that class and then add all the previous frequencies to that. So the first frequency there is 2. The next one, I'm going to do 0 plus 2. That will give me a cumulative frequency of 2. The next one is going to be 7 plus 0 plus 2 is 9. Or alternatively, I can just take that class and add the previous cumulative frequency. So 7 plus 2 is 9. The next one, I can do 9 plus 7 plus 0 plus 2 and get 18. Or 9 plus 9 is 18. And the next one, 9 plus 9 plus 7 plus 0 plus 2 is 27. Or alternatively, 9 plus 18 is 27. And then keep going. The last cumulative frequency should always be the total number of observations that we, that we have. So remember that we had 45, a total of 45 eruptions that we're looking at. So that's what my last cumulative frequency is. So cumulative relative frequency, I'm just going to take my cumulative frequency and divide it by the total number of observations that I have. So same idea here. Um, so if you haven't seen this before, that is means approximately equal to, so the double um, squiggles instead of equal to, so that is a rounded value. So we're going to use that anytime we round a value. Um, so instead of the relative frequency column, column adding, Sorry, instead of cumulative relative frequency column adding to 1, the last value is going to be 1, whereas the relative frequency column added to 1. So you can see the similarities between cumulative frequency, cumulative relative frequency, and then just the regular frequency and relative frequency. Um, so a little bit different there. So how do I go back and refresh? So a histogram, we use lower class limits and either frequency or relative frequency. A frequency polygon, we use midpoints. And then frequency. And then in OJAV, we're going to use the upper class limits and either cumulative frequency or cumulative relative frequency, depending on what we want to portray. So across the bottom here, I'm going to put our upper class limits so again we have another connector point this time we just have um, one point sometimes these points are not there you just want to observe you know they're not there because if they were um, then the graph would start at if they were not there the graph would not start at zero because otherwise there wouldn't be a purpose for having that class. So that's the way to keep that in mind if those connector points are really actually um, physical points there or not. Um, so then I'm going to plot points at each of my cumulative frequencies for the classes um, via their upper class limits and then I'm just going to connect the um, dots there. So you notice that um, these are always in ascending order there, so smallest to largest, so keep that in mind. Again, my axes are both um, labeled here, and then I have a title for my graph, so you want to make sure you're always doing that. So that is what an edge is.